We have to first visualize the daylight in the exterior view. Simply, I would recommend you go to see the go to view and then I'll click 3D view. So you all know about this one, right? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> okay, so, <clears throat> so what is the sequence of kind of uh, get a, to design your, um, I don't know, to prepare your rendering? First, I would rather fix camera first. So let's say this one is exterior view. Actually, then you can actually zoom in, zoom out, but you can also pan. But to really kind of control all the different settings, I would rather use a wheel. To use the wheel, just uh, uh, press Shift and W. It will show the wheel. <coughs> Shouldn't we not set the camera angle up by the floor plan? And then oh, I will explain that one a little bit later. Okay. So first one, this is one way of using exterior view camera. And actually, you can actually using orbit and actually look or what uh, I will just do pan or orbit or zoom and then actually then one thing you can to do is actually camera lens to change the camera lens click this lower corner if you click it you'll have more options <coughs> and to change camera angle is actually this one um, uh, orient view plane Actually, this one actually remove increase and decrease. Let me just double check this one uh, on the level camera. Maybe go to option. I oh, know actually uh, 2016 changed the interface. Sorry for that. Uh, uh, actually, they change it this year. Increase works with orient view, on the view, save view. Mm. Uh, okay, sorry that I'll check that. 2016, they removed, actually, there was actually uh, increase, decrease camera lens, but they removed that. I'll explain a little bit later. Okay. So this one is just simply locate your camera. Uh, and then, to, so let's assume that you finish your camera setting. And then, to show the sun, there's a sun button here, so it's quite easy. On the bottom side, there's a sun button. And prop, but before you click this one, I would click uh, shadow. For, I will just go through once and then I'll come back to you. So and then actually you see the shadow here. So there's a shadow button which will turn it on and off the shadow. And then to change the solar position, click this uh, sun path up button. And then I would click sun setting. <coughs> And here, <coughs> this one it says lighting. So I change it to still, which can you can change the location and time. And also I click use a shield setting, which is which will link your solar setting for your rendering. So I click this one. And actually you can change location here, Boston, Miami. Double click it. And then here the defi the default setting for define location by is actually uh, internet mapping but I would change it to default city list. Then actually you can select other or other cities and then I will click M to go to Miami. Then location is set. You, can, you may want to click use daylight saving time and okay. So now you see that uh, Miami is selected and you can change your time here and date here too. So basically then okay, then actually you will see the Date is changed. Probably not a great angle, so probably I will, I will also sun pass on. Then you will see that, you will see the sun. If you turn on the sun pass, you can just drag the sun, and actually you can move it, kind of like interactively. So kind of this is something I did. Then all you have to do is actually you're all set. Uh, Rabbit actually take care of all the materials. Uh, by its uh, a family definition or, uh, or instance definition. So actually, that one will be covered in your another Revit course in your studio. Probably uh, another instructor will teach about all the ma uh, model making in Revit and changing materiality. All you have to do is actually click after that. All you have to do is click in this show rendering dialog. Or do you see that under view tab, you will see the render button, which will look like teapot. If you lost it, this one is under view tab. And then you can find this render button. And then if you click it, you will see 
this one almost uh, preset ready so actually all you have to do is just click render that's it then you're all set so this one is actually basic settings to render your uh, your building in Revit uh, I just wait okay so then I will just cut it